Hi, good evening everyone. Welcome to the live Bible study of Metanoia Christian Ministries and today is uh, Wednesday. Hello everyone, I'm here with Brother Ron and Brother Eric. Yeah, hey, good, good evening. evening. Good evening, good evening everybody. Wala akong video ang brown out sa amin. Okay lang yan. Uh, importante naman na nandiyan ka lang. Walang problema yan. <laughs> Pero surprising, no? Na, you know, pati ngayon, meron pa rin mga rotating brown outs and stuff. And, okay. Oh well. Di bali. Okay lang. At least we're, ano, importante yung word ni God. Yun yung ma-preach natin. Yeah. Di bali. Okay. <laughs> Apisado na naman yata ng mga manonood gano'ng kapogi si Brother Eric eh. Kaya okay na oh, rin ma- doon. At least yung boses pa nandiyan lang. Title ni Macho yun. Oo nga pala. Title ni Pastor Macho yun. So yeah guys, you know it's a blessed Wednesday evening once again. And uh, uh, we're excited to share the word with all of you. I'll be sharing the message tonight. Um, and tonight's message is called In Your Heart. Pero bago nun, open up muna tayo. Let's just, let's just worship the Lord right now. Yeah, let's worship the Lord. I'll just post the li- lyrics uh, sa chat box. That I'm PowerPoint. Eh. So let's worship the Lord. Ka 
Kahit kailan Hindi ka nagkulang Pagyaya mo sa kilaging laan Pag-ibig mo Sa kiwalang hanggan Inibig mo ako noon Paman Inibig mo ako noon Paman Inibig mo ako noon Paman Praise God. Amen. So blessed evening, everybody, and uh, welcome to our live Bible study. And uh, if it's your first time tuning in, we have live Bible studies every Monday and Wednesday night at 8 p.m. and Saturdays at 6 p.m. So yeah, um, I'm excited to share with you guys uh, this message, and this is something I've been meditating on um, lately. And uh, noong last Saturday, yung question and answer natin, medyo nag-focus sa spirit, soul, and body. So, you know, from that, from those scriptures, this this has been something na, you know, medyo binabalik-balikan ko. And, um, you know, guys, we all, dito sa, sa ministry natin, you know, madalas natin pag-usapan yung heart. You know, I wanna, um, I wanna point some stuff out lang, you know, na like last year, we started broadcasting kasi last year. Diba? Prior to that, nandiyan na yung ministry. Nandiyan na yung ministry. We used, to, uh, we used to go to different churches, different provinces, different places. We used to preach the word of God, minister to all these people, different denominations. Lahat yan. Uh, we used to have our um, new Saturday services natin. Diba, Pastor Macho? Yun yung ano natin yeah. nun. Diba? Wendy. So, oh, and um, we used to workshop. Diba, madaming, madaming mga ganyan na ano eh. So, the ministry has been around. Pero last year lang talaga nag-start yung online ministry and uh, like this kasi wala no choice naman naka lockdown yeah. natin eh. <laughs> mm. diba? Yeah. diba but 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 you know last year kung papansinin yung mga messages last year you know uh, a lot of them were explanations kasi um maraming first time lang makinig diba mm. maraming first time lang makinig maraming first time na let's say from a more conservative theology started encountering these truths and these things and they got exposed to these things. So most of the messages last year were, let's say, doctrinal or, you know, in explain theologically. Siyempre, nandun yung encouragement, nandun yung love, nandun yung edification. Pero it's more on pinapakilala yung scripture, kung ano yung sabi na scripture, ano yung stand. If you would notice naman this year, 2021, most of the messages are, are, are really to continue our walk as Christians. You know, it's it's checking the heart. It's being honest with yourself. Bakit? Kasi alam nyo na yung doctrine. Eh. You know what I mean? Alam nyo na yun eh. Alam yeah. nyo na kung anong scripture, anong ganito, ano yung thorn in the flesh, ano yung job. We don't have to keep on repeating that over and over. And when people have questions, we send those videos. Uh, why? Hindi sa hindi importante sa amin yun. It's more on, we want to equip you to maintain your walk. It's not just theology yung binibigay na. You know, and kaya madalas namin pag-usapan, di ba, Pastor Macho, yung puso, condition of the heart. Kasi yeah. mahirap pag dinadaya yun, no, Pastor? Yeah, hindi mo madadaya yun eh. Kasi madaya mo man yung sinasabi mo, yung puso mo, hindi mo madadaya. And at the same time, kung ano laman ng puso mo, yun din yung lalabas sa'yo. In time, makikita at makikita yan. Amen. You know, so I mean, that's that's something uh, na kaya madalas kaming bumalik-balik dun sa mga mayroon kami ni Brother Eric, Pastor Macho. Kasi guys, you know, Minsan di mo napapansin nasa flesh ka na eh. Minsan yeah. napa, di mo napapansin yung yung heart mo iba pala yung laman. Alam mo yun? So that's why we we come and uh, we focus on this stuff and I pray na sa inyong mga nakikinig sana hindi kayo magsawa kasi kailangan natin to. Kahit kami, three of us, we meet, you know, na kami-kami lang, no no agenda, hindi usapang ministry, hindi usapang ano. Wala, you know, just fellowship together. And we talk about personal issues. Bakit? Kasi yung mga personal stuff namin, pag napaprocess namin sa kami-kami, you know, um, natatanggal eh, yung para na-expose yung heart and nababalik sa word. And, you know, and that's just part of our walk. You know? So, yeah, we learn from each other in this ministry as well. 
So that's the that's what we're trying to encourage you guys to do to na matuto tayo to check yung heart natin. So tonight I have another message on on the heart and title is in your heart. So yeah, start na tayo. All right. Okay, wait lang. Dahil ko lang. Okay, okay. No problem. You know, so you know, brothers and sisters, you know, I just want to talk about this because, uh, you know, I've again the past couple of years, especially with the online ministry and everything, you know, we've encountered a lot of people, a lot, a lot, a lot of people. And damin tao, and damin tao ng nagahanap na sagot, and damin tao ng nagbago ng buhay. Nakatwa to hear your testimonies. To you guys who are watching, so blessed to connect with all of you. But you know, there are also some instances. Na may mga taong inaral lang yung theology pero yung heart hindi naging honest kay God. You know, paano ko masasabi yun? Hindi nag-bear fruit. Or bumalik sa dati. Or inayawan din yung ano. You know what I mean? So, you know, people are looking uh, people are looking for something pero ang tanong is what are we looking for? Nagahanap lang ba tayo ng relief? Nagahanap lang ba tayo ng argument? Para tama tayo? Or nagahanap tayo ng freedom? Kasi yung offer ni Jesus Christ is freedom. Ang offer ni Jesus is freedom and love and truth and peace. In John 8.32, you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. So, you know, ang offer ni Jesus is freedom, is new life. Uh, ang, ang, you know, nakakalungkot, pero marami kasing inaral lang to. Inaral lang, bakit Job? Bakit, bakit gano'n to? Bakit torn in the flesh? Ganyan, bakit may tongues? Paano mag-heal? Paano cast out demons? Pero yung, yung heart, hindi hindi si surrender lahat kayo. And I'm not judging anyone. I'm not I'm not I'm not judging. I'm not condemning anyone. Yung akin lang is para sayang naman. You know? And, and and sometimes there are some cases na hindi napapansin ng tao pero yung puso niya lumalayo na pala. It, it doesn't I'm not saying it makes you less of a person. It doesn't mean God doesn't love you. That's not true. God loves you. While we were still sinners, sobrang mahal tayo ni God. He gave Christ to us. So it's not a matter of loving. It's not a matter of um, of getting whatever. And hindi yun yung point. Yung akin lang. Honest ba tayo kay God? Ano bang laman ng heart na? And pag, pag nagharap tayo kay God, kaya ba natin sabihin, Lord, talagang ikaw, ikaw laman ng puso. You know? Kasi yan ang manahanap sa atin ni God. Yung heart natin. Binigay niya yung heart for a reason. So, you know, what is the heart? Let me define that. I, I thought something like this before, pero pabalikan ko. Ano yung heart? Let's go to our first scripture. In Hebrews 4, verse 12, it says, For the word of God is living and powerful. Diba? So, and, and sharper than any two-edged sword. Piercing even to the division of what? Soul and spirit and joints and marrow. Ano yung joints and marrow? Body. So, soul and spirit and body. Spirit, soul, and body na naman tayo dito. And is a discerner of the what? The thoughts and intents of the heart. Brothers and sisters, what is the heart? The heart is the core of your being. It is where the spirit, the soul, and the body meet. Okay? Yung heart mo is ikaw. Ikaw yun. Ito na napag-usapan namin ni, ni Pastor Majoy, Brother Eric, kung nakaraan eh. Pero I'm gonna emphasize on this um, now. Kasi you know, kahit ako binabalik-balik ang kuto eh. This is not something kasi na tipong, ah, okay na, Christian na ako, kota na ako. Ah, okay. Hindi, natapos ko na yung course na yan na alam ko na yan. Or alam ko na yung theology na yan, alam ko na yung scriptures na yan. Hindi yun yung base. Eh? Hindi, hindi utak eh. Hindi, hindi knowledge ang labanan dito eh. Hindi, um, hindi patalinuhan to o paramihan ng, paramihan ng, ng memorization. Hindi yun eh. It's the heart. It's the heart that we're talking about. That's the very core of your being. And inside that heart, dyan mo mahikita kung saan nagmimit yung spirit, yung soul, tsaka yung body. So anong ginagawa ng Word of God? What the Word of God does is that it will discern, it will divide, hihimayin ng Word of God who is dominating your heart. Is it your spirit or your soul and body? Yung flesh mo. So you know na yari, kasi it could go either way. But who dominates the heart? That is the battle. That is what's going on. Hindi na hindi yung um hindi character reformation, hindi psychology, hindi ano. It's really what's dominating your heart. Are you living out of the spirit? 
Is the core of your being living out of the spirit or are you living out of the flesh? Is it your soul and body that is dictating your heart? Yung ba yung lamang? Yung ba yung decision maker mo? Yung ba yung napupusuan mong ganyan? So, you know, I want to clear up ano ba talaga yung heart and ano yung, ano, kasi pansin na natin mga kapatid, kahit hindi Christian eh, ang daming inspirational videos, ang daming self-help, yung mga encouragement or psychology, you know, whatever, follow your heart, di ba? Ganun to, gawin mo, yung heart mo, yung ganyan, puro heart. Parang laging positive thinking sa heart. Pero the question is, is the heart really reliable? Ano ba yung heart? So ito nga, sinabi ko kanina, the heart is the core of our being. It is where the spirit, the soul, and the body meet. But let's go to the next slide. Look what this says. In Jeremiah 17, verse 9, Jeremiah 17, verse 9, it says, the heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? So ngayon, guys, I, I, you know, nung medyo bago ako sa Christian walk, may nag-quote sa akin ito. Na hindi, hindi pwedeng pagkatiwalaan yung puso mo. Kasi ganito, ganyan. Yung heart po, follow your heart. And the heart is wicked. The heart is deceitful. Na ganyan, ganyan. Tapos, you know, this was many years ago. Tapos natanong ko sarili ko, eh, ba't pa binigay ni God yung heart? Di ba? <laughs> bakit pa? Bakit pa binigay ni God yung heart? Kung walang kwenta yung heart, at deceitful, at dapat itapon, or dapat ganito, ganyan, hindi mo pagkatiwalaan, pag nag-heart ka, mali ka na, ganyan ka na, ba't pa ginawa ni God? What's the point? Why would He even give us a heart in the first place if it's all, it's all deceitful and desperately wicked? Diba? And then, you know, so no, no one could explain that, that that question of mine. Nung nagtatanong ako sa mga dating, ano, wala. Wala sila mabigay ng sagot. Ang sagot lagi sa akin is their thoughts are high. God, thoughts are higher. His ways are higher. You know, the classic escape route para sa isang tanong na hindi pinag-isipan. Uh, isang sagot na walang ma-offer sa tanong na hindi nila inisip. You know? But I wasn't contented with that. Nung naintindihan ko yung spirit, soul, and body, naintindihan ko itong verse na to. Kasi nung verse na to, nung nilalabas tong verse na to, yung human heart, talagang deceitful and talagang wicked. Alam mo bakit? Kasi spiritually dead pa yung tao. Spirit, soul, and body. Kanina pinag-usapan natin Hebrews 4.12 na yung spirit, soul, and body, dyan nakikita-kita, dyan nag meet it, 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 it is the core of our being where the spirit, the soul, and the body all meet and come together. So this is the Old Testament where people have not yet been redeemed by the blood of Jesus so they are spiritually dead. So their heart contains what? The soul and the body. That's the flesh. And if you have nothing but the flesh in your heart, okay, yung, yung, yung flesh na fallen flesh, talagang wicked yan. Talagang deceitful. So this verse, yes, it is true. It is the word of God. It is applicable. It is accurate. The heart is deceitful above all things. And it is desperately wicked if there's nothing in your heart except the flesh. If your heart is dominated by the flesh, of course it's going to be wicked. If the heart is dominated by the, the yearning of the soul and the body, which are both fallen and have the sin nature, talagang, talagang desperately wicked yan. Walang pupuntahan na maganda yung ano. So therefore, that heart, you cannot trust. You cannot depend on that. That is if you don't have Jesus in your heart. That is, if Jesus is not your Lord and Savior. That is, if you live in the Old Testament. But I find it, I, I, I find it, uh, you know, shocking that so many Christians don't understand spirit, soul, and body. So they still use this verse and they believe it applies to them today. If you're a non-believer, this verse, yes, would apply. Kasi wala pa nga yung new heart. Eh. Bakit? Okay, let's go to the next, let's go to the next slide. So, what happens when you're born again? This is God's promise in, in the book of Ezekiel, Ezekiel 36, 26. It says, I will give you a new heart and put a new spirit within you. I will take the heart of stone out of your flesh and give you a heart of flesh. I will put my spirit within you and cause you to walk in my statutes and you will keep my judgments and do them. Guys, this is already done. He has already poured out his spirit upon us. He has already given us a new heart. He has already given us all this by grace. Because of the finished work of Jesus on the cross, 
binigay niya na itong new heart, binigay niya na yung Holy Spirit niya, so that when we receive Jesus as our Lord and Savior, we become temples of the Holy Spirit. We become vessels of this new heart that, that God has given us. So, guys, this is now. Tayo na to. So ngayon, meron tayong new heart, meron tayong new spirit, that the Holy Spirit is one with our spirit. We talked about this last Saturday. You know, and um, so the thing is, again, so many of these conservative Christians still resonate with Jeremiah 79, but forget about this verse. So ano yung gusto kong ipakita? Guys, yung heart, heart natin, heart mo, heart ko, if you have Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, your heart is not evil. You have a new heart. You have a flesh that has desires that are not according to God's word. Okay? That's your flesh. But you have a new heart. You have a new spirit. So what's in your heart? Diba? Because I hear people saying, your heart mo wicked, wicked your heart. Ganyan, di pwede, trust your heart. That's if you live, if you don't know who Jesus is. That's if you don't care about who the Holy Spirit is. That is if you don't care about God's promises. That's if you don't, if you neglect what Jesus did on the cross, eh, meron ka na ang new heart. Bibigyan ka ba ng heart ni God na walang kwenta? The whole point is that he, through sin, when Adam sinned, death came upon all, di ba? Ma, uh, Romans 5.12 yun. So lahat na gano'n dahil all sin. Nagkaroon ng sin nature yung tao. Pero yun yung na-crucify. Naging hardened yung heart ng tao. Eh, binigyan na tayo ng new heart. You know? So, yes, the heart is desperately wicked, if you don't have the Holy Spirit and if you don't have the new heart, okay? Because if you're a person ruled by the flesh, then of course, the, 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 the heart of stone is still there. Diba? So the, wala kasi divide. The, the word of God cannot divide anything if it's just the flesh in it. But if you have spirit, soul, and body, brothers and sisters, you have a new heart. You have a new heart. May binigay sa yung bagong heart si God, diba? So don't get stuck living in the Old Testament. If if you are a born again believer, tapos may mga struggle ka, may unforgiveness ka, may ganito ka, that's not your heart. That's your flesh. I want to clarify that. Alam mo bakit importante 'yun? Kasi pag sinasabi mo heart mo 'yun, sinasabi mo identity mo 'yun. The core of your being. That's it, it's it's brand new. You're a new creation. The old is gone, the new has come. You are loved by the Lord. You are accepted by the Lord. Diba? You are precious to Him. You are His great treasure na binayaran niya, yung anak niya, for you. That's your identity. That is who you are in your heart. So don't go calling yourself, na, don't go calling yourself, uh, telling yourself that you have a wicked heart. You have flesh. We all have flesh. Galatians 5 tells us that the flesh and the spirit are contrary to one another. Maglalaban yan. So, yun yun nandun. Ang natira na lang sa atin is yung desires of flesh. But your heart is brand new. And I don't know who needs to hear this, but I think, I think you know, I, I've been ministering to people lately and they're dealing with self-condemnation. You know? And, and you gotta toss that away. Tapon mo yung condemnation. Romans 8.1, there is no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. You have a new heart. Wag mong i-harden ulit. Diba? Kasi yun yung problema. Okay? It, it, here, here's the problem. A lot of people confess Jesus in their mouth, you know, but they don't know what he did in the cross. They don't know that we've been given a new heart. They they, they don't know that um, we've been given a new spirit and a new identity, you know. So if you're a Christian and you're truly living and walking in the spirit and the word of God fills your heart, then you know what? Go and follow your heart, you know. But it's the Word of God that as you spend time in the Word of God, it will, uh, it will reveal sino ba nag-dominate ng heart natin? Sino ba yung nag So, you know, let's go to Hebrews 4.7. Now that we have, we are born again, we have Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior, His Holy Spirit dwells within us. You know, may choice tayo. Kasi yung heart na bago na sa atin, it was removed, the heart of stone was removed. It was given to now it has been given to us a heart of flesh. Okay? A heart of flesh straight from God. So there's nothing bad in that heart. There's nothing evil in that heart. Um, that heart is brand new and according to God's design, that heart has been redeemed by the blood of Jesus Christ. But you now have a choice. Because the heart is you know an part not in your heart, the choice not in your heart. And it says here in Hebrews 4:7. 
again, he designates a, a, a certain day saying in David, saying David today, after such a long time, it has been said today, if you will hear his voice, do not harden your heart. So mga kapatid, ngayon, this was quoted by the author of Hebrews because it is applicable for us today. Bakit? Kasi meron na tayong bagong heart. We have a new heart of flesh. We have a new spirit within us. But it is your choice. It is my choice whether we maintain that heart and fill it with God's word and fill it with God's love and live out of our identity in Christ or harden our hearts. It's always our choice, mga kapatid. The Lord will not force your heart to change. The Lord will not harden a heart that is not already hardened. A lot of people will say, oh, bakit si Pharaoh? Bakit si ganito? Read that again. You know, where in the Bible do you see Jesus seeing a man who is good and proper and godly and everything? Sabi niya, hardened ko hardened. Wala. No such scripture. Why? Because that's not his heart. Pharaoh, again, Old Testament, different dispensation. But before God hardened Pharaoh's heart, he hardened his own heart six times. Pharaoh hardened his heart beyond redemption that God, through God's foreknowledge, he knew this guy is no longer going to repent at all. And that's the only time the Lord did that. But that is your only scripture that you can refer to. So a lot of people are saying, oh, God hardens this heart, that heart. No. I have a teaching in Romans 9 also. And um, a, lot of, a lot of the Calvinists use that to, 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 prove, to justify their predestination doctrine. And anyway, that, that's a different... Um, I forgot the title of that message, but I'll get back to you guys on that. Anyway, um, so my point, my point here, guys, is that we have a new heart. And it is our choice whether we're going to operate out of that heart, we're going to take care of that heart, we're going to fill it with God's word, or we can choose to harden it. And here's the thing, guys. Hindi lang siya one time na, hindi okay na ako, tinanggap ko na Jesus, okay na ako. Nabasa ko na yung Bible or naka level 5, naka level 6 na ako. That's not how it works. Because this scripture says, today, if you will hear his voice, today, every day, today. You know, every day is an opportunity to, 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 to fill your heart with God's word. Or it's an opportunity for you to feed the flesh and harden your heart. Your heart, brothers and sisters, and I pray that this really, you know, this really speaks to you right now. Brothers and sisters, your heart is the home of God's word. Okay? I'm going to say that again. Your heart is the home of God's word. The very center, the very core of your being. That's the home of God's word. Let's go to the next slide. Colossians 3 verse 16. It says, let the word of Christ dwell in you richly. In all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your hearts to the Lord. Guys, ito, ito talaga yun. Yung heart natin, dyan, na, dyan titira yung word of God. And who is the word of God? It's Jesus. So it is our choice. We have been given a new heart. Hindi na wicked heart. I don't care kung gano'ng kong kasama natin. Sa ministry na to kami, kami tatlo ni Pastor Macho, Brother Eric, ibang tao kami na. You know, we're not proud of it. But, you know, that, that's who we were. we were. We were people living in darkness, people indulged in sin and debauchery and all this crazy stuff. And, you know, the Lord redeemed us, but he gave us a new heart. And every day we are faced with decisions that, rather, uh, that will either fill our hearts with the word of Christ or harden our hearts by feeding our flesh. You know? So, don't get me wrong, guys. I, I, I don't want you guys to overthink this and say, ano ba? Flesh ba ako? Ganito ba ako? Nagkamali ba ako? You are not to be sin conscious. We are, no one wins by being sin conscious. Okay? We are Christ conscious, not sin conscious. So, I'm not going to get into that discussion. Kasi medyo mahabang usapan din. But I want to explain this. Okay? See, brothers and sisters, our first interface is our mind. Everything goes through knowledge first, okay? You can't put something in your heart na hindi mo naintindihan na wala lang. You know, you have to know first. Y yung first step mo is really, it's really knowledge. That's always the first step. So, you know, without knowledge, you won't be, you know, feeding or maintaining your heart or whatever, whatever word you want to use. But you won't be... Um, 
you won't be uh, maintaining that that fire in your heart, that love in your heart. Hindi mo, di ba, titigas yung puso mo pag hindi mo. So walang knowledge, wala. The first interface, the first encounter is through knowledge. So everything goes through knowledge first. Before you understand, before you feel something, before you you meditate on something, before you start believing in anything, you have to know it first. You can't believe in something that you don't know. You cannot have faith in something that you don't know. So it all starts with knowledge. So when you receive knowledge, you 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 start reading the scriptures, you listen to these uh, Bible studies, you listen to these preachings, you attend the workshops and conferences, or you enroll yourself in some program or whatever. Cool. You know, super good. That's good. But here's the thing. You know, if you don't... So that's there. That's here. Yun yung sinasabi ko kanina na maraming inakal lang yung theology. Pero when you meditate on that, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to read it now, pero alam nyo na yung Joshua 1.8. Do not let the book of law depart from your mouth. Meditate on it day and night. My purpose yun din. You know, sa kanila, they really had to do it kasi yung heart nila, hindi pa renewed. Tayo may new heart tayo. Si Holy Spirit, na sa atin na. Christ dwells in us. So we feed ourselves with the knowledge of God's Word. Then, we meditate on it and we dwell on it. We abide in it. It's not just part of our day. It, it, it is. We, that's where, dun, dun yung pinaka-foundation ng lahat natin. Yung Word ni God. And when we meditate on it, it will rule our heart. It will dominate our heart. And when the word of God dwells in your heart, then you start living through the spirit. You start living in the spirit. Kaya mga kapatid, that's why kami dito, madalas kami mag-share ng heart check message. You know, it's hindi dahil naninita kami o hindi, check namin to. No, no, no. This is something we do as well for ourselves. Because every day, it doesn't matter if you've been a preacher or pastor for the past 20, 30, 40 years, you still got flesh. Nandito pa rin tayo sa mundo. Hindi pa bumabalik si Jesus. Pag bumalik si Jesus, sige, bang usapan na yan. But He's not yet here. Our flesh has not yet been redeemed. In our spirit, we are born again. In our spirit, we are redeemed, we are perfect, we are whole, we are sanctified, we are everything. We are sozo. Right? We have been perfected in Him, in our spirit. May flesh pa tayo. So yung heart natin, kailangan natin ingatan. Dahil kung hindi, si flesh mag the dominate ng heart. So if you're born again, you got a fresh start. Your heart is new. Your heart is soft, di ba? Hindi siya tinanggal na ni God yung heart of stone. Meron tayong bagong puso. Choice natin, anong gagawin natin? Will we let the word of Christ dwell in our hearts right now? Or are we just going to indulge in the flesh and just harden our hearts gradually? Di ba? That's why we ask. That's why we ask ourselves. Again, guys, hindi kami mag... Ang commitment namin sa inyo, hindi kami mag-preach for the sake of teaching lang. Hindi kami magtuturo for the sake lang ng maituro. Kung merong kaming commitment kay Lord, it's Lord, kung may tuturo kami, totoo muna sa amin. I don't want to be regurgitating knowledge. I, you know, I, I came from uh, an institution na, o oh, ito turo mo, ito yung outline. Oh, hindi ko mineditate yan. Hindi, ito yung tuturo, ito yung ganito. I, I never agreed with that, so I never did it. But I can't. Well, di, ko, di ako nag-meditate yan. Di ko alam kung totoo yan. I'm just gonna be, you can get someone else to preach that. Or teach it, or whatever. Diba? Hindi naman module to ng kung ano na. This is the word of God. And it's supposed to be personal. It's supposed to be something that speaks to you. So, dito sa amin, we want to share with you na itong heart na pinupuno natin ng word of God and heart na chinecheck natin at hinaharap natin kay God, you know, that some, uh, many times we just stop, we pause, and we just open our hearts before God. And we ask, Lord, kao ba talaga number one sa heart? Kao ba talaga? I mean, is it really you? Is there, is there, may mga bato-bato ba dyan? May mga, may mga weeds ba dyan na tumutubo? What's distracting me? What's distracting us? Ano ba? What's taking away this peace or whatever? Whatever it is, we bear our hearts before the Lord. And kung may mali, then we acknowledge it. Now we repent. Tapos. Now you move forward. Sobrang importante i-maintain yung heart. Sobrang importante to dwell, to let the word of Christ dwell in our hearts. Kasi kung hindi, magugulat ka, layo muna pala. Hardened na pala. You know? Kasi, you know, the heart, brothers and sisters, it's where we decide if we really belong to God or not. You know? Yung pinag-usapan namin ni Pastor Macho before the message started, you can't fake this. You know? 
pe- people can pretend people can you know speak the christianese and speak the language and speak the right theology but you can't hide your heart before god you know the, you don't familiar scripture romans 10 10 romans 10 verse 10 let's go there it says for with the heart the very core of your being that your whole spirit soul and body are all there and then you decide in your heart with everything you've got you believe unto righteousness and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation so you know, not to do on it before but out of the abundance of the heart the mouth speaks but here's the thing you can confess with your mouth without believing in your heart i've seen many people do that i've seen many people do that they can confess the right theology they can confess all the christianese phrases and they can speak fluent christianese i don't mean christianese if you haven't heard that word christianese is a language that christians speak <laughs> that they sound uh, very churchy and very you know yung ano pero ang problema doon that's all it is it's just it's a way of speaking so people can confess with their mouth but not believe in their heart They can do all the good works and all the feeding programs and all the missions work and all the volunteering, but it's nothing more than just a job. You know, but in their heart, ano naman? So I'm not making anyone doubt their salvation. That's not my goal. You know, hindi yun mga kapatid. Ang akin lang is maging totoo tayo. Kaya mo bang harapin si God? Can you face the Lord and say, Lord, you're really number one in my heart. I desire none but you. I want you, whatever you want for me, that's what I want from you. Because I know that you offer the best. You give the best. You're my life. Can you really face God and say, Lord, I'm the number one love ko talaga sa lahat. And it's you. Can, you. can you open your heart to the Lord and just talk to Him about that? Or are we just mouthing it? No, no, Lord, you hear, praise God, Jesus, you're number one. Are we, sinasabi lang ba natin yun? Kaya, you know, bakit importante? Nakakatakot kasi may mga scriptures like in, in, In like Matthew 7.23, wala dito sa notes. I'm just saying na, diba, yung, yung Matthew 7, yun yung Lord, we cast out demons in your name. Lord, we prophesied in your name. And then Jesus said, you know, I never knew you. Ano yun? <laughs> I mean, that's not there for no reason. And that's, you know, that's, that's, we're not to live in fear. Believers don't live in fear. Pero, you know, that's something to be careful of. Kasi take note, yung sabi ni Jesus doon, I never knew you. Never is the key word. So, ibig sabihin nun, since the beginning, di totoo. Since the beginning, puro confession. I cast out demon. I ganito, I prophesy. I ganito, I ganyan. You can operate in all these gifts and whatever, but not have Jesus in your heart. That's scary. Because Jesus' response was, I never knew you. Meaning, Not since the beginning. Not, not, wala. Wala talaga. So it's not about your ability or your gifting or how well you preach or how well you teach or your ability to endure hardship or suffering or whatever. It's not about your testimony na grabe yung pinagdaanan mo for God. No, no, no. It's not. It's about allowing the word of Christ to dwell in your heart. Yun yung kaninang, di ba, Colossians 3.16. Yung, yung word of Christ, kailangan mabuhay sa atin. At the very core of our being, that is our DNA. Your DNA is not your church. Your DNA is not your doctrine. It's not your whatever Bible school diploma. It's not your denomination. It's not your ministry. Your DNA is Jesus. Is the word of God. And that's the very core of who you are. Right? So, you know, so mga kapatid, ang point ko na naman this evening is You know, open your heart before God. First of all, you got to know and acknowledge and believe that you have a new heart already. May binigay ng new heart sa'yo. A heart from God Himself. A heart na, na dati may heart of stone tayo, pinalitan na ni God. May new heart na tayo. Meditate on that. You know, if you're struggling with your past, if you're struggling with self-condemnation, if you're struggling with things you did or trauma from your past, someone did something bad to you, maybe you had terrible parents, maybe you were abused, maybe you were an addict before or whatever, whatever that is, that's gone. Meditate on the fact, on the truth that you have a new heart, a heart of flesh, a heart from God himself and that the old is gone, the new has come and you have the Holy Spirit 
within you. So whatever bad stuff was in your heart before, it's dead. It's gone. The enemy will lie to you and say, pero that's not your heart. That's not your identity. You may have desires of the flesh, but that's not you anymore. That's not your identity. That's not your true identity. Those are just this remnants of the flesh. That you have to go back to the cross of Christ. The Lord, thank you. Binago mo na ako. Thank you. Sobrang love mo sa akin. Binagyo mo kami new heart. Thank you na hindi na ako yung dati. Thank you that now I live for you and you. You know? So now we have a new heart. You know, say it. Say it yourself. I have a new heart. You know, verbalize it. Speak it. I have a new heart. Say it with me. I have a new heart. You know, and if you have, again, if you have those sinful desires and those negative thoughts, those bad thoughts, those are just the desires of the flesh, the soul and the body that have yet to be redeemed. But that's not coming from your new identity. That's not coming from the core of your being. You have a new heart. You have a means to let the Holy Spirit dominate the whole you, your whole being. So now there is a battle of who rules the heart. May laban na internal na kung sino mamumuno sa ating puso. Sino mananalo? Sino mananaig? Yung spirit, yung soul, o yung body. Diba? Yun yung Hebrews 4.12 kanina. Diba? The spirit, the soul, and the body. Either that's what's in the heart and the word of God will dissect and divide which is which. The word of God will reveal to you ito yung namumuno ng heart mo. The word of God will reveal to you and show you the thoughts and intents of your heart where the spirit, the soul, and the body meet. And he will, the word of God will show you sino ba talaga namumuno sa di ba? So, you know, as you spend more time in God's word. Not just knowing. Diba? Yung sabi ko kanina, our first interface is knowledge. It's not just having the right theology. I mean, that's important. Of course, don't get me wrong. Importante yung tama theology. But if theology is all you have, that's... Wala. Diba? So it's not just about having the right theology. It's not just memorizing the words and phrases. It's not just, you know, knowing the Christianese or whatever. Ask yourself. Do you believe in your heart, genuinely, what God says in His Word? Naniniwala ka ba on a heart level? Na palangharap kayo ni God, you can say, yes, Lord, I, I believe this. I believe what the Bible says. I believe what your Word says. You know, when, when He says that you're forgiven and the old is God, can you accept that? Can you believe? Right? If yes, then, then bakit may condemnation ka pa? Bakit may guilt ka pa? Bakit may shame ka pa? That's not you anymore. Diba? When he says that you are prospered, that he will provide all your needs according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus, do you believe it? Do you believe it? Diba? So if you say you believe it, then why are you thinking small? Why are you limiting God? Why are you putting small numbers to God? Diba? So it's easy to say that I believe, I believe, right? But it's actually something, it's a totally different thing to live it out and practice it day by day. So, you know, today somebody asked me earlier to clarify about yung pleading the blood of Jesus, pleading the blood, ano ba yung blood, ano ba yung ano, di ba? So, sabi ko sa kanya, you know, the pleading the blood, it's not just something we recite. It's not a chant. It's not a magic formula na, oh, I plead the blood. Takot na yung demonyo. Oh boy, here we go. They plead the blood. We gotta run. Hindi naman ganun yun eh. You know, may nag-ano may nag, nga nung uh, pleading the blood. Sabi ko, what is pleading the blood? It's living in such a manner that you are aware of what the blood of Jesus has done for us. Right? It's renewing our mind on God's word that is planted in our hearts about what the blood of Jesus actually paid for. It's not some magic formula. It's not a magic phrase. You know? So it's something, it's a lifestyle of knowing ito yung ginawa ng blood ni Jesus. I don't have to verbally say that. Wherever I step, wherever I go, I am living proof that this is what the blood of Jesus has purchased. Why? Kasi totoo sa akin. Wala naman akong ipagmamayabang kung hindi anong ginawa ni Cristo. And the demons will know that. I don't have to plead the blood to the demons. I don't have to plead the blood for anybody. I'm going to walk knowing what the blood of Jesus paid for in my life. And that's the same thing as planting the word in your heart. It's not just speaking the theology or memorizing it. It's living it out. It's meditating on it, letting it dominate your heart. 
that that is who you are, the very core of your being, the very core of, of, of your identity. I'm a child of God. And Christ lives in me. And I am the home. My heart is the home of God's word. So, you know, again, just to alone, we all start with right knowledge. Then knowledge comes and we meditate upon that knowledge. We renew our minds upon that truth and those, um, the revelation of the Holy Spirit. And that's how we grow in the word of Christ. That's how the word of Christ dwells in us and in our hearts. And as we continue to do this, the word comes alive. And we begin to walk in the spirit. Then we begin to operate in faith. And as a byproduct of that, that's when signs and wonders and miracles become normal. You know? Kasi yung iba habol nila yung power, yung signs, yung wonders, yung miracles, yung heart chinecheck ba? Dami ko kilalang sobrang gifted, walang heart ni God. Bakit? Kasi walang love. Puro pasikat. Puro power. Puro dream. Puro vision. Puro cast out. Puro ganito. Puro kung ano-anong burloloy. Ano yung heart ni Jesus? You know, are we living out the identity in Christ? We are called to manifest Christ, not do miracles. Doing miracles is part of that, of it's part of manifesting who Christ is. But you can't, hindi natin focus yung miracle, focus natin si Jesus. Kaka-focus mo kay Jesus, yung byproduct ng new signs and wonders and miracles, it's so normal. You know, hindi tayo nagpapasikat na ano, so... Anyway, yung part ko lang is, again, knowledge is essential, but we really have to get that to sink into our heart. You know, we don't, Christianity, for the millionth time, I'm going to say this, Christianity is not an argument. It, Christianity is a living relationship with a living God, and guess where he dwells? In our hearts. Through his word, he dwells in our hearts. So, what's in our heart? Diba? Ask yourselves, what's in our heart? Are you afraid of your heart? Baka maganito ka, baka maganito wicked. Do you still consider your heart as wicked? You know, that's hindi pwede. Or do we finally understand that we have a new heart? God gave us a new heart and he put his desires in, the, in that heart. And now we have to choose, we have the, the power to choose whether to live from that new heart or harden it. Yan ang choice po natin, mga kapatid. So we need to be conscious about Christ because he's the one who's supposed to dwell in our hearts. So what are we allowing to enter our hearts? Diba? We have to decide na yung puso natin, yung core ng being natin. It's the home of God's word. The word of God is welcome. You know, I'm going to end with this, this passage in Ephesians 3. And this is Paul's prayer you know, for the church. Ephesians 3. Sabi, sabi Paul dito, and this is the same prayer I have for you guys tonight as well, is that, that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith. That you, being rooted and grounded in love, because God is love, may be able to comprehend with all the saints what is the width, the length, the depth, the height, to know the love of Christ, which passes knowledge. That you may be filled with all the fullness of God. Brothers and sisters, by faith, choose to fill your mind and your heart with God's word. By faith. You know, by faith, choose to meditate on what the word of God says. Don't meditate on your circumstances. Don't meditate on the news. Don't meditate on all the crazy stuff going on. Meditate on what God's word says. By faith, choose to believe that the old is gone and the new has come. That in your spirit, you are one with God's spirit. By faith, choose to believe that you have a new heart filled with God's desires and God's love for you. By faith, stop and ask, you know, just ask yourself, si Jesus ba talaga number one sa puso? Is Jesus really number one in my heart? And if there are any obstacles, just go back to the word, immerse yourself in God's word, in God's love, and in God's truth. Guys, God looks at our hearts and we cannot fool him. Hindi natin mauuto si God. We can fool the people around us. We can fool ourselves. I've, I've encountered people who have believed their own lie, you know, but we can't fool the one who made our hearts. Let's be careful. Let's guard our hearts, brothers and sisters. You have a new heart from the Lord. Care for it. Treasure it. Nourish it with God's word. And when that God's word comes alive in your hearts, you will begin to manifest Christ. Amen. So, yeah, that's what I have for you guys tonight. Um, Brother Eric, Pastor Macho. Yes. Young uh, uh, heart. It's talagang 
actually uh, the new heart na binigay ng God sa atin it's it's like sa akin I I I I parang I think it as a sponge so pinalitan na ni God na, ng new heart but pag if you continue nga sa all thinking mo yung mga pinapanood mo o yung mga binabasa mo babalik yung mga dating laman ng old heart mo kaya nga sabi nga ni brother Ron the word of God yun yung doon nagdudwell yung yung word ni God eh uh, yung heart doon nagdudwell yung word ni God so if you meditate on it parang heart mo is punch na nag-absorb eh and the Holy Spirit will quicken it at doon maglalagay actually Romans 2.29 it's the Holy Spirit yun yung magbibigay sa atin ng new heart Romans 2.29 <laughs> parang hindi ko rin mag-quote pero doon nakalagay sa it's the Holy Spirit ang magbibigay new heart so siya rin magkikwiken Even Romans 5.5, si Holy Spirit rin ang will pour out the love of God in our heart. So as you meditate on the word, doon rin gumagalaw si Holy Spirit. Binubuhay niya sa heart mo, yung mga dapat mabuhay. So it's really powerful that you understand how your heart works. Eh. Di ba? Yung, it's, as you renew through your mind, bababa sa heart mo eh. So may connection yung mind mo at yung heart. Ang problema, yung mind mo nga, andun na iwan yung old self na ng mga desire, mga thinking ng old self. Eh. So as you renew your mind, yung mga dapat bumaba na word of God, doon papasok sa heart mo. So yun lang, I just want to add that. And yeah, Pastor Macho. Yeah. Nahanap ko yung mukha mo eh. <laughs> anyway, natawa, natawa lang ako doon sa sinabi ni brother ron kanina yung burloloy. Anyway, kahit alam mo, kahit anong burloloy ang ilagay mo sa puso mo, ang importante ka ano yung nasa loob ng puso natin eh. Tama yung sinabi ni brother Eric, ni brother ron, na it all starts in the mind eh. So dyan pa lang kailangan maharang mo na bago pa yung buwaba sa puso mo. Kasi kung good seed yan or bad seed yan, tas halaan, hayaan mo yung bad seed na pumasok rin sa puso mo, then ito mamakikita. Teka muna, san, ano ba ang... Ano ba ang nilalakaran ko? Flesh ba or spirit ba? Eh, importante kasi palagi na maintindihan natin na bago na yung puso natin. Eh. Kasi yun nga, doon doon nag-meet yung uh, spirit, soul, and body. Doon, mag, doon nagtatagpo. So ano ngayon ba yung gumagana sa'yo? Saan ka ba lumalakad? Diba sabi nga sa Psalm 37.4, diba? Na delight yourself in the Lord and He will give you the desires of your heart. Ang binibigay naman yung desire, eh, yung desire niya, nilalagay niya sa puso natin. Kaya talagang matutupad yun at matatanggap natin yun. Ngayon, kaya pwede mo ngayon sabihin, sundan mo yung puso mo kung nagde-delight ka sa kanya. Kasi baka mama, if you're delighting yourself in the flesh, how can you follow your heart? Eh di malamang yung ifa-follow mo, e eh, flesh mo, hindi siya. Kaya lang, hindi naman sa sinasabi namin dito maging conscious ka doon sa maling ginagawa mo. Ang ang ina, ang gusto lang, ang gusto lang ma, ano, ng, 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 ng sinayar ni Brother Ron ngayon is, tonight, let's check our hearts na are we living in the spirit? Ito ba yung nilalakaran namin? Ito ba yung tinatayuan ko? O baka nakasanayan ko na lang o wala naman na talaga siya. Yung nga sabi ni Brother Ron kanina, naging trabaho na lang din. O ano man yung ginagawa niyo. Ang importante rito yung love ni God that we are rooted and grounded in love. Kasi kapag if you are rooted and grounded in love, wala na eh. Andiyan na. Yun na yun. So lahat ng gagawin mo will be, lahat ng lalabas sa'yo will be out from the goodness of God. Out from what you received in Him. Out of the finished work of the cross. Ganun na lahat yun eh. Uh, tahitahin na yun. Brother Ron? Amen. You know, kasi what I want to clarify then is yung living in the spirit. <clears throat> kaya gusto ko, kaya tonight gusto ko ma-explain para nag-work yung heart. Ano ba yung heart? Ano ba talaga yun? Ano ba yan? Kasi ang dami ko na na-encounter. Na bro, spirit-filled kami. Bakit spirit-filled? Kasi pag nag-worship, gumaganyan kami. Hallelujah! Pagaya, pag pinapray, tumatambling yan kami. Lahat kami nagtatangs. At that's me, spirit <laughs> Oh, meron pa umi stick to the world dyan, ha? Wala naman. Wala naman. Delikado. Delikado yun. Tinatanggal lang ka na ng free will, eh. No? Na, no? Anyway. Then, so, nakakatakot dyan. Y- yung akin lang kasi, hindi porke ganun, spirit filled ka. Hindi porke ganun. I-, I, don't, I don't care what what doctrine that is or what doctrine you subscribe to. I don't, I, I don't care if if you're if you can make legs grow and and do this and remove this headache or that headache. That's not the thing. Ang, ang tanong dito, does the word of God dwell in your heart? Diba? Yun yung, yun yung sinasabi ng scripture. Hindi naman sinabi ni Jesus kung sino ang gagawa ng miracle, okay na. 
ito nga yung Matthew 7, di ba? Who prophesied, we prophesied, we cast out demons. Sabi niya, who you? <laughs> na who you sila ng di oras ng ano dun. I never knew you. So, you know, nakakatakot lang, brothers and sisters. Kasi there, the, the enemy is out there to deceive. The enemy is out there to give uh, ang target ng enemy, Christian. Okay, hindi non-believer. Yung non-believer, wala na rin eh. Hindi, pupuntang impero yun kung di ba? Ang gusto niya sirain, Christian. So ang gusto niyang gawin ngayon, kung wala na siya magawa to prevent you from being saved, he will pass on such crazy doctrines and give believers a false sense of security na okay na sila. Di nila alam, work na pala ng demonyo pinagagawa. Nakakatakot yung ganun. I mean, di fearsome, pero I mean, alarming na may ganun. Ang dami na di-deceive, mga kapatid. You know? So when we say living out of the Spirit, hindi yung nagtatangs ka lang, yung nagaganito ka, hindi yung nag-worship ka pag Sunday, Ask yourself, toto, Jesus ba talaga number one sa heart mo? You know, and 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 I feel that I I feel like a godly anger against the enemy, not against people. Diba? Ephesians six twelve, our struggle is not against flesh and blood. Hindi po tao ang kalaban natin. Hindi hindi kapwa Kristiano. Hindi po natin kalaban yan. Mahal natin yan. Ang kinaiinisan ko kinagagalit ko yung kalaban na nagsisino kaniya. You know, I, I have a godly anger towards the enemy that is lying to the body of Christ. Why? Kasi na, nagkakaroon nga ng false sense na okay kami, ganyan, and it causes further division in the body. Guys, ang sinabi ni Jesus, ang sinasabi ng word ni God, let His word dwell in your heart. John 6.63, there, His word, it is spirit and is life. So, it's not about our ability, it's not about uy, napag-pray natin to, nagawa natin yan, o yung boldness mo, o kaya mong tumayo sa harap ng maraming tao at magsabing si Jesus. Ganyan. Hindi mo madadaan yun sa ganun. It's between you and God. I'm not, we're not judging anyone. We're not, um, you know, we're not trying to measure you up to anything. Just be honest with yourself and with the Lord. Talaga bang yung puso mo home ng word ni God? Diba? Yun lang, yun lang naman. Yun lang talaga yung focus. Anything else you guys want to add? Brother, Ma- Brother Eric, Pastor Macho? Yeah, I'm good. So, so important um, lang. Yeah, the heart. So, uh, I'm good at yeah, it's always the heart. Yeah, actually, ganun lang. Diba? I, I thought about the yung Mark 4, eh. ganun din. Heart. Heart lang. Check natin yung heart natin. Hindi natin na condemning way. Ano lang na, check natin na talaga si Jesus ba talaga? Yung pag-ibig ba niya nandyan? Nakatanim ba dyan yung pag-ibig niya? Kasi out of the love, magbubunga yan eh. Hindi pwedeng hindi. Pag-ibig yung tumatakbo sa'yo eh. So lahat ng gagawin mo, it will be out of love. At hindi lang yung love mo. Love the Jesus. Which is the God's kind of love. Yan lang. You know, this is yung, uh, recently maraming maraming heart messages, maraming heart check messages, maraming you know just just be honest with yourself. Guys, uh, we're not trying to hold you to some standard na dapat ganito, dapat ganyan. Hindi kami ganoon. You know, wala kami sinasabing gayahin mo kahit sino. Kung may gagayahin kasi Jesus na talaga. Yes. You know. Pero at least ang ang pwede nating gawin dito is mag-real talk lang. Maging honest kasi sa sarili. Tapos kung, kung, kung si, hindi mo masabi na si Jesus yung number 1 sa puso mo, bakit? You know what I mean? Bakit? Pat hindi. Ano pa bang offer ng iba na mas maganda pa o mas higit pa sa offer ni Jesus? You know? And as you come to know Him, as you come to know His love, it is nonsensical to choose anything else except Jesus. Because in Him, we are complete. Colossians 2.10 So, you know, yun lang po. We're going to close with that. Um, I'll close this in prayer tonight. Let's pray. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for this evening. We thank you for uh, this time, for the opportunity to just fellowship in your word. Father, I pray na itong word na to mabuhay sa puso ng aking mga kapatid. At the very core of our being, our spirit, our soul, our body, all in the heart, I pray na maintindihan ng mga kapatid ko ngayong gabi yung importansya, Lord, yung value nung pag-meditate sa word mo, pag sa word mo. Yung, yung importansya na malaman namin yung truth. Bakit sobrang importante ng truth? Kasi Lord, yung truth na yun, yun yung identity na. Lord, I pray that each of my brothers and sisters will learn to love your word. I pray that each of them will learn to really decide in their hearts, Lord, try yung number one. At wala nang iba. You know, I pray na makita nila yung goodness, yung love, yung grace mo na ibinuhos ng walang katulad, walang katumbas natin, walang ibang lalapit dun sa in-offer niyo, Lord. Kayo talaga ang deserving at kayo lang talaga ang dapat number one sa puso na at all times. So, Father, I just lift up you every person right now. If there, if there's anyone struggling, 
with condemnation or with guilt or shame or rejection. We just cancel that in the name of Jesus. And we declare that, Lord, you have given them a new heart already. I pray na maging totoo sa kanila yun, na new na yung heart nila in you. Father, I speak life and peace upon them in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray that they will grow in the knowledge and wisdom of you. And I pray that they will have a deeper and genuine revelation of who you are. So I just lift this all up to you. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thanks for watching, guys. God bless you. See you again on Saturday. Bye. Saturday. Bye. -bye.